let's now get on to Chesterton and feminism. Because certainly one of the controversial aspects of what Chesterton believed is his belief, uh, his beliefs with respect to feminism. So let's talk about this. Where he talks about it most is in his book, What's Wrong with the World? And this is a quote by Chesterton. The feminist is one who dislikes the chief feminine characteristics. In other words, that the feminist ironically is at war with the feminine. And most obviously, of course, with motherhood itself, the war on motherhood. So again, a quote from Chesterton. The feminists are wasting time drawing attention to the existence and dignity of woman. It is an object which the average healthy man cannot keep his eyes off. That's Chesterton writing in 1914. So, um, you know, men don't need to be told about the dignity of women and the beauty of women and the glory of women. They, they, they feel that already. But, and here's the problem, another quote from Chesterton, feminism is always against chivalry. Again, that's Chester writing in 1909. The irony is that feminists despise the gentleman. They despise the chivalrous, and therefore they get the cad. When women cease to be seen as wives and mothers, they are seen as mere objects for the, satisfa for the satisfaction and self-gratification of the lust of men. Women's liberation has created libertines with which men are all too happy to take liberties. There's the irony. And again, Chesterton. What is called the economic independence of women is the same as what is called the economic wage slavery of men. In other words, what the, the early feminists wanted is for women to be forced to become wage slaves like men. In other words, if we, if we live in an in a, in a unjust economic system where, where, where men are, uh, are made to go out and do meaningless work, um, as wage slaves for a big company, unfulfilling, propertyless, merely in order to pay the bills and pay off the debts. Why is it a good thing to have women doing the same thing? It's not liberty, it's slavery. Leaving the home for the workplace is not the achievement of freedom, but the acceptance of serfdom. This is best encapsulated by Chesterton's famous quip, which I'm paraphrasing, that a thousand women stood up as a man and proclaimed they would not be dictated to and then became stenographers. And for those that don't know what a stenographer is, a stenographer is someone who is dictated to, <laughs> a secretary. Is being dictated to by a boss a more worthy calling than being a matriarch of a family? These are the questions that Chesson's asking. And he also says here again another quote. This is actually from the chapter on the great Victorian novelists from his great book, The Victorian Age in Literature. A free woman is generally a married woman. Now that's countercultural in our feminist uh, world. And again, an, an, another, paraphrasing another quote of Chesterton's here, why is it considered a big job to teach other people's children the rule of three and a small job to teach one's own children about the cosmos? Why, why, is, it, why is it called freedom for a woman to become a school teacher and teach other people's children, but slavery to teach her own children. I speak, by the way, uh, as, as um, someone who's very blessed to have a, uh, a wife who, who homeschools our children, and I would say that that quote by Chesterton should be the motto of all homeschoolers. But the most controversial aspect of Chesterton's views on women and on feminism is the fact that he opposed female suffrage. He was actually opposed to giving votes to women. Now, that in our culture is absolutely scandalous, and I can understand why people would think that. But the key thing you have to understand is that Chesterton's view was not based on the view that women were not good enough for the vote, but that the vote was not good enough for women. He considered the whole business of politics to be sordid and something which befits uh, being in the gutter. Uh, for instance, I, again, drawing from my own life, I would don't let my wife, at least when I'm not traveling, take the trash to the dump, right? It's a horrible, dirty job, and why should I expect my wife to do that? I'd rather do it myself. So Chester's attitude was, why would you want something as glorious as a woman to get on her knees in the gutter, which is the business of the corruption and dirt of politics? That's where he's coming from. You may disagree with him. Chester could be accused, if you like, of putting women on a pedestal, 
of raising them higher than they deserve, of putting them in a crystal floor above our heads as men, or perhaps higher than women themselves want to be. Women might not want to be on a pedestal. But you can't realistically be accused of treading female aspirations underfoot when you place all females in a pedestal above your head. And that's what Chesterton is guilty of. He idealizes femini femininity, he idealizes the feminine, he loves womanhood, and he doesn't want to drag womanhood down to the level of the worst aspects of that which is male.